Hello, in this video, I will show you how to use color targets to copy black and white conversion of an image. In other words, how to copy black and white edit. Before I begin, I need to make a few clarifications. All programs for color targets calibration are designed to work only with color images, and 3 d LUT Creator is no exception. Therefore, you should not expect great accuracy from this method. However, you can come much closer to the result using this method than if you would edit your images manually. This is the first point. The second point will be more positive. It is not necessary to use special color targets for black and white calibration. You can print a target on your own. In this case, you do not need to know reference colors. You just need to know what they were in the photo before and what they became in the black and white variant. All this can be done in 3D LUT Creator. Let's go. I have a picture familiar to you from the previous lesson. It is opened in Photoshop. Let's translate it into black and white using black and white adjustment layer. I'll select, for example, green filter preset. Here's what happened. I load the result to 3D LUT Creator. Now I'm going to create a custom color target. There is a target from x right in the photo. But let's imagine that I have DIY target printed on a home printer. What can be said about this target? It has six columns and four rows. I select Custom in the drop down list of targets. I enter six for columns and four for rows. Here's what happened. Now, this target needs to be assigned the colors from the picture. To do this, I select Save in the list of targets. I will name it Green Filter. The data is saved. You can see that the colors of the grid points match the colors of the patches. Excellent. Now, I'll load original image from Photoshop. I'll choose a tool for matching. My custom target has loaded. Now, pay attention to such a moment. If you click on the points of the grid, the inscription colored will be displayed at the top. That is, 3D LUT Creator considers them all colored, but the bottom row of the target is neutral. Therefore, I will translate these points into neutral ones by clicking them and then on the colored inscription. Or you can select all the points within a selection frame and make them neutral at once. 3D LUT calibration method must be selected. You don't need to use the exposure compensation for the target since this is the same image. And that's what happened. Calibration accuracy is wild. This happens only because I do not have information about the color of the target. But there is only brightness. Let's see the whole picture. Now I'm going to load black and white image from Photoshop as a reference. To do this, I'm holding down Control and clicking on the Image from PS button. Done. Let's compare. Here's the reference. Here's the result. Here's the before image. Here's what happened. It works like magic. It turned out even better than I thought. Most likely, you did not even dream about this, but this has already happened. Let's try again. I'm going to choose something more radical this time. For example, infrared filter. Some of the target patches turn black, some turn white. Well, okay, I'm loading it into 3D LUT Creator. I'm choosing a tool for working with a target. I save new color values as infrared. Now I'll load the original from Photoshop. The grid is loaded. Let's check if the colored patches are colored and the neutral ones are neutral. Everything is in order, so I can press Match button. Here is a window that says I get two identical colors from different patches. That is, when converted to black and white, some different colors got the same brightness. This commonly happens. I click OK and continue. Here's the result. I will load black and white image as a reference from Photoshop. I hold Control and click on the image from PS button. The reference has loaded. Let's compare. Here's before, here is after. As you can see, not all colors have exactly matched. Yellow on the reference is very washed out. Nevertheless, the overall contrast and brightness are very similar. You can't repeat it manually. And that's all. Now you know how to copy black and white edit using a color target. I hope skeptics will have even less doubt about whether to use 3D LUT Creator to work with color targets or not. 
If something is not clear, ask me in the comments. See ya.